Let us pray together. We thank you, mighty God, that you have brought us in Christ from dark days to Easter life and the new creation. With grateful hearts, we lift our praises, offer our gifts, and commit ourselves to be your faithful and loving people. Amen. And would you please turn now to the green insert, our communion liturgy? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, our joy and hope, with everything that is in us, to thank you for the glorious resurrection of Jesus our Lord. You are indeed holy, O God, great and good and wondrous beyond our knowing. And you bring light from darkness, life from death, faith from fear, song from silence. Therefore, with the whole church, your servants of every time and every place, with all the witnesses of our risen Lord and with all creation in heaven, on earth, and under, we join together to praise your name, singing. With greater joy than ever, we give thanks to you, O Lord, for the victory of this day and for the salvation you have prepared for us through Jesus our Lord. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. In mercy for our broken world, you gave your only Son, who took upon himself the sin and sorrow of the world, who by his cross has exposed and overcome the powers of death in the world, and who by his rising leads us to the day of fulfillment and liberation for all the world. For this he lives. God. Proclaiming your love, he opened the kingdom that all people might be drawn closer to you and to each other, giving himself completely to your purposes. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take Eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death and confess that he is risen and lives until he shall come again. This is the feast of victory. Thanks be to God. Thus we remember with thanksgiving our Lord's suffering and death, and with joy how you raised him up and exalted his name above all names, Jesus Christ our Lord who brings us into your presence, making us bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. 
Amen. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and give us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Reveal yourself to us, Lord, in the breaking of bread, as once you revealed yourself to the disciples. You may be seated.
strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. We thank you, Lord our God, for these gifts of bread and wine and for Christ Jesus who offers them to us in the power of the Spirit. We rejoice to receive your grace and be strengthened for our life together and service in his name. Amen. May the love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. May the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you today and remain with you forever. Amen.